Right, it's been a while, hasn't it? So today we've got a My Strange Addictions video for you. I haven't done one of these in absolutely ages, like a couple of months. Basically because we're running out, it's sad time, but there's not many left. So I'm trying to save them. But yeah, today I'm going to a party later. So I won't have time to make a longer video. And these are always relatively short. So yeah, we're doing one in it. This addiction, I mean, we say this with every single one of them. It's very weird. Just, I don't understand what goes through people's heads at times, to be honest. Let's have a look at this. <laughs> My name is Lisa, I'm 43 years old. I live in Detroit, Michigan, and I'm addicted to eating cat hair. That's right, Lisa's a feline feaster. She nibbles on cat hair, as you do. You know, it's a normal everyday thing, everyone does it, let's be honest, come on now. I don't know why this is a strange addiction, to be honest. I'm rather confused. Just chewing it is relaxing. It's a comforting feeling. Her fur is such an interesting texture. It is fucking hair. It's gonna be a bit of a weird texture, isn't it? What are you expecting? All hair's the same, do you know what I mean? It's so soft and puffy and like cotton candy, almost. Not gonna lie, I think there's a bit of a difference between cotton candy and cat hair, but that's just me. Someone who's never eaten cat hair before, so like I don't know the comparison on a personal level, do you know what I mean? Nor do I want to. I'm alright. I think I'll survive without. Sometimes they do get stuck in your teeth, but you can just get them out with flossing and brushing. I mean, if they do get stuck in your teeth, and it is a bit annoying, but it's well worth it, just floss it out, you pussy. What? Just don't eat it. Then you don't have to floss it out, do you? <laughs> Sorry, it's in my lipstick. When my sister told me she was eating cat hair, I was shocked. And by looks of things, so is that cat. Look at eyes on that thing. Chuffing hell. That's the face the cat pulls every time she comes near it. That's what she's trying to do now. She's about to just yank off a clump of its hair, start chewing on it. It is strange. I don't think she should be eating it. Nah, you're just a hater, aren't you? She should be eating it. It's a normal thing to do. Leave her alone. 15 years ago, Lisa began eating cat hair as a way to feel closer to her pets. Just pat them, give them a good old stroke. You know, that normally does the trick. There's no need to eat them. To be fair though, I don't think you could get much closer to your pet than having parts of them in your digestive system. I think that's pretty much as close as you could get. But it wasn't until she got a new kitten that her unusual bonding ritual turned into- Lisa, mate, I don't think this whole thing about you trying to get close to your pets is working right well. I mean, it's just trying to claw you, do you know what I mean? It doesn't seem to like you very much, and it doesn't surprise me, to be honest. To a full-blown addiction. Now, two years later, Lisa's so hooked on consuming cat hair that she can't go two hours without a fix. Every two hours, that cat loses its hair so she can nibble on it. Two hours, it's gonna be bold. I kind of look at it and make sure it's relatively clean and just cat fur. I'll kind of break it apart and then just put it in my mouth. I'll chew it up a little bit and then take it out and maybe mess with it a little bit and then put it back in. You know when you were little and your parents were like, don't play with your food. That just does apply to this, doesn't it? Like it couldn't apply to this more. There's, I guess you could say maybe like a cotton ball taste. It's much less of a flavor than even human hair. Is she eating human hair as well then? I'm confused, me. I think we just need to lock Lisa away from that cat for a few months. Not only for her sake, but for the cat's sake. Things could start getting even weirder. I don't know how that could be possible, but I'm sure our mate Lisa will find a way, let's be honest. I find the cat hair that I eat all over the apartment, on the floor, or on the back of the couch, or on the perch, but the best ones are right off the cat. But eating cat hair isn't the only way Lisa feeds her addiction. I groom my cat with my tongue like a mama cat would do to her kitten. You know how I literally just said, Lisa will somehow find a weirder thing to do to a cat than eating its fur? Yo, it turns out she's already fucking done it. She's licking it with her tongue. I mean, I don't know what else you're supposed to lick it with, but still. Why? I don't understand. That's disgusting. I mean, I used to have three cats when I was little, when I was like a toddler. Never even thought to lick them. Are you my good girl? I ain't had my breakfast yet. Well, now because I've seen that, don't need it, mate. I've been put off. She'll just like spread out on my arms. I'll just clean like her shoulders and her ears and the back of her head and stuff and her face. I don't get as involved as another cat would. I'm not licking her butt. I mean, at least she's not licking its ass, I suppose. Let's look on the bright side of things. But at this point, to be fair, Lisa, you might as well. 
or in between the paws that go in the litter box, but it's a bonding thing and we both seem to enjoy it. We both seem to enjoy it, dear. I mean, did you see its face a few minutes ago? I won't say that's a face of enjoyment, me, but you know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, or leave a comment, because why not? Don't forget to turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video you get notified every time I upload. My merch, my cameo, Instagram, and Twitter's links in the description to so go and follow me on them. If you've got any video suggestions, leave them in the comments, and I'll see you guys later.